Welcome to the Tail Slate. I'm Ben Stacy, and today we are talking Star Wars. Not just any Star Wars, we are talking Rogue One. The Rogue One trailer has come out, mm -hmm. and I loved it. I'm excited. It's got me really, really excited. What were your impressions of the Rogue One trailer so far? I thought it, it looks great. Mm -hmm. um, it's got a really... It's a, a darker tone. Um, the the uh, acting looks good so far. The fun performances that you do see, mm -hmm. and uh, it's yeah, I, I thought it looked great. I yeah, I, I think you're right. It's going to have a lot uh, of a darker tone. It, it looks great. Like the effects look beautiful. Um, the Death Star scene when mm -hmm. they're putting the the, the uh, weapon in is just oh, it's so great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, let's, let's talk about some of the images that we saw in the in the trailer. Um, that Death Star shot. Mm -hmm. That, to me, that I found that Death Star. Even though it's the it's the first Death Star, maybe it's because mm -hmm. we know what it will do. Yeah. That is such a menacing shot. You got the oh, Star Destroyers outside of it, and the well, it's just the that sheer dish in. size of it. It's like you, you you know you get the feeling like yeah, this could blow up a planet. Yeah. Like that's like you know how big the ships are. Yeah, the star and they're cruisers dwarfed are. By it. Yeah. Yeah, those star destroyers, the, the regular star destroyers, are something like a mile or mm -hmm. a kilometer and a half long, or something like that. Yeah. So yeah, that's a pretty big, big thing. Um, we also get to meet our hero, Felicity Jones, uh, Rin. No, what's her name? Oh, good one. I'm bad with names. Oh. Rin Dai or something like was it? No. Jin. Jin. It was Jin. Jin. That's it. Sorry, oh, I'm yeah. thinking Ray. Yeah, not Ray. Um, Jin. Um, obviously, a girl who's tough. Yeah. Lived a bit of a, she's a, a rebellious street, life anyway. She's anyways. a street. She uh, rebels. That's what she does. <laughs> yeah. She's a street she's a rebel. who gets in trouble. Yeah. I mean, she looked really good in it. It looks like it'll yeah. be a character that you'll be rooting, rooting for. for. Yeah. yeah. We also got to see what would appear to be the, the big villain. The... Mm -hmm. Guy in white. Evil now, Admiral. I understand it? he's not Grand Moff Tarkin, which he, yeah, well, would he's be cool not. If he's in there, but he's from, probably some other admiral or something like well, that. Well, from the research I've done, it's not Thrawn or Tarkin, or it's it, no one has so far said who he is. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming this is going to be a character who, in the end, will probably die, but he'll be the big bad, who is obviously like you see the scene of him walking through the water there. Mm -hmm. um, on his own, mm -hmm. so he's he's a badass, whoever yeah. it is. Uh, so he's going to be a dangerous opponent for them. The protector of the plant. That's it. Yeah, That's no, he he looks pretty good. Um, let's go to meet some of the other characters. Mm -hmm. uh, we get to see Mon Mothma again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is kind of cool. Nice little touch to the uh, original. Yeah. Um, Forrest Whitaker. I'm not mm -hmm. sure what his character is, but he looks like a. I think he's the Kenobi wise, in this one. Tough yeah. guy. Yeah. yeah. Now, it was also good to, like, we were talking about it a little bit before, it was good to see um, the walkers in a, in a oh, different yeah. environment. Yeah, than, those at-ats. Yeah, because we, we've only really seen them when... Well, you only a, really see them from a, the side, essentially, in all the other shows where... Well, they're all, well, the only time we've seen them doing anything yeah. was, was in the snow. Yeah. yeah. We see wrecked ones in yeah, Force Awakens. Force Awakens. Yeah. So, obviously, they've combat then combat in a uh, desert oh, a environment. variety of environments but yeah. now we're in like what looks like a tropical beach mm -hmm. well really and, cool. yeah like in the scene that you see them in I, I just love that it, it it's amazing to see them from that point of view yeah, of having the guns pointed at you rather than just like a side scroll video yeah game. you've got a real sense of scale mm -hmm. like how tall these things are compared to a, a human figure mm -hmm. yeah and it, and it helps you get into into the point of view of the characters where you're running at them and you've got these huge explosions as they're shooting at the camera, you know, and mm -hmm. you you got guys running past you. That was good. That really looked good. What if uh, what Rogue One is supposed to be about is stealing the, the plans for the mm -hmm. Death Star, right? Yeah. Yep. So it's right before Star Wars. That's right. Yes. They, yeah. uh, before, before A New Hope. Yeah. Before A New Hope. So there's really you would assume that there's really no lag time between those two probably stories. Probably not. From yeah, A New Hope probably happens pretty soon after this. Yeah. Well, or it, could he even be going on as 
Well, uh, as this is going on. Well, that's yeah. It's hard to say because they never really say when they got the plans to the Death Star. Just that they had. Oh, actually, spies yeah, you're right. Them. It would have had to be before. It was. They were in R2. R2. Oh, yeah. that's right. That's, that's right. right. At the beginning. Yeah. 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 So. So it does take place definitely before, not on mm-hmm. time. Before the events, yeah. So the other thing is that there's the possibility of Darth Vader coming in to mm-hmm. play at some point. Yeah. And uh, you had mentioned. Mm-hmm. Uh, with the the red guards, what are they called? The imperial the guards. Imperial guards. Yeah. yeah. There, there's a shot of them in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so and, it, and it looks like they have that light tube, which is what the you've always seen the transmissions over the holographic transmissions of yeah. the emperor. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I, I'd be excited if, if they had Vader. I mean, you've got a chance to use Darth Vader again. Why wouldn't they? I mean, it oh, yeah. seems like they. It, well, it would make it'd be sense, but it, it. It, at the same time, they may want to try and do their own thing. With this, it's kind of like it's on the periphery of that story. Yeah, I don't think he needs to be a major character by any no. means. You've got your main new villain, mm-hmm. but it's just something where you see him and you feel a bit of his presence there. Yeah, you may see him from a distance. I don't think they'll have him on screen with a speaking role or anything. I, I think it'd be better if you just kind of, well, sorry, I shouldn't say, with the, on, you know, without a speaking role. Like it may be him that's and the communicator or, yeah. or something at mm-hmm. some point. Um, I just think that, you know, beyond him, maybe threatening death to somebody for failing. I don't think they're going to bring the Emperor or the, or Darth Vader in a lot. Oh, I doubt, no, I don't yeah. think he's going to be in a lot, but yeah. uh, they have the opportunity to use him. Why not? Sure. Well, again, like I said, the only reason I would say they wouldn't is just that they want to differentiate themselves from mm-hmm. Star Wars in that sense, where it's like, oh, no, no, all new characters, you know the plot, so it's an easy to follow one, uh, but we don't have to, you know, touch on every single plot point of the other movies. So they are, but I mean, we've got a darker tone to mm-hmm. this movie. Like I said, they're all new characters, or you said that they're all new characters. Mm-hmm. Are they all gonna die? Is this- Oh, it, that it, is a possibility. Because, it could. Yeah. It could. or are they gonna fraction this off into another film down the road? I, I don't know, I mean, as far as I can tell, what. Disney wants to do is have these standalone films, which mm-hmm. are single stories, which makes total sense. I mean, this yeah. once they've completed their mission, that that story is pretty much finished. I mean, who knows? They might yeah. bring it well, I mean, back uh, later, but technically, they could stretch this into two or three movies if if they wanted to. It'd probably be a bad idea. Yeah, no, but they, they could. Yeah, that, as far as their schedule of movies coming out, mm-hmm. it's it's a, it's a one, one and done one. Yeah, yeah so. They might be. So this might they be. Might be they might die in the end. They, they get the they plans. They get them into R two, and then everyone. Or maybe off. they're somebody's mommy or daddy. Oh, you know, I've heard. No, uh, no see, I've heard. There's I a lot of know. people wanting uh, mm-hmm. Felicity Jones's character, Jin, to be the mother of Ray. Oh. And I think, I mean. Uh, why do you have to jump to that conclusion? Why do? Why does every character in the Star Wars universe yeah, have to be no related has to, to be another connected one? Oh, come on! I'm your father. <laughs> I'm your father. Yeah, in that Guess, story, there was a connection. And there's another connection. I'm your father. <laughs> oh wait, and then there's the sister. And the sister. No, but I mean, but that's the thing. Like that, it was supposed to be a really huge and major reveal, and it was. I mean, yeah, yeah. When that, it happened, that rocked that was, yeah. the world. When, when. Uh, they, and when they did it again. Oh my God. When did they do it again? The sister thing. No, I'm your father. The audience learns that Han Solo is. Oh, okay. Oh, in this one, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. well that was that, yeah, yeah. that one. Let's do it again. Yeah. It worked the first time. <laughs> well, see, that's that's why I have an issue with that movie. But let's talk about Rogue well, One. Come on, we've got another Death Star movie. It's great. Oh, yeah. No, I think this one, <laughs> this one is the Death Star. Yeah. Yeah, this, is, Death Star. this is pre. This is called Star. like a four peat like yeah. like. <laughs> what's We're going back to the same thing. Now we got uh, some other characters we've seen. We mentioned Forrest Whitaker. We've got some mm-hmm. other characters. I mean, I don't. You really just see one or two shots of these these people that are, I guess, in the group that's going yeah. to steal the plans. Well, don't sure. know much about them from the trailer. No, but, but it looks like a, an interesting group that they're going to be sending. Yeah, away. They, well, they give you the vibe of what the group's going to be about. They're a bunch of anti heroes mm-hmm. essentially. Um, I'm not sure about the others, but they all look like roughnecks. You know, like yeah. they're they're all yeah. very much uh, rough, rough and ready fighters. Mm-hmm. They're not yeah. going to be, you know, dressed in uniform. One one last thing I think I want to touch on is the stormtroopers. I think it's super cool that we have two new Star Wars movies. Yes. One with stormtroopers that have evolved a bit and are a slightly new design, mm-hmm. and we now also get to see 
the original Stormtroopers in a brand yeah, new movie. Yeah, yeah. Right, along with some in the really cool black outfits yeah. as well. well yeah, they, well, they, and there's some that was sort of sand colored as well. Uh, well, there, uh, there's two names I've heard. One was um, the Shadow Troopers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there was the Scarab Troopers. Yeah. And the, I think the Scarab ones are the ones that Probably are in the tanks. Okay. I think. Maybe. I think. Okay. But it, if you notice, it looks like they have blast shields on their, like you know how. Um, what uh, the the ones in the bl the black troopers? These ones? No, no, no. The other one. The the there's uh -huh. ones that um, it it look. Remember uh, Luke Skywalker in the first movie? He had to put on that helmet. It had the yeah, blast, blast shield. shield. Is, yeah. They look like what they have are movable blast shields. Oh, okay. Cool. I'm not sure. Maybe because I, I saw it was a, the photo I saw was fairly small. Are you drinking? A bit. <laughs> no. Well, but the other thing, too, is like, I want to talk about um, Gareth Edwards. Mm -hmm. Now, I saw Monsters. Yeah, 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 I saw Monsters, and um, th this is a film that he made independently, and he, and he understands visual effects, whereas some, some people might not. Because he did a lot of visual effects in, in his own film. And I think he did a phenomenal job. And he also did some really interesting character development. He did uh, The Last Godzilla movie. I haven't Ooh, seen yeah. it, but uh, you felt... I, I saw the, yeah, you the, saw the, part the of remake. It. Yeah. yeah, it looks like it's in good hands. So I'm yeah, not like, worried at all about that. No, no. It, like, it, the, uh, the Godzilla movie looked beautiful. I mean, like, uh, visually stunning. I think this one, like so far, what I've seen from the trailer, looks mm -hmm. great. Yeah. So, you're gonna go see it. Oh yeah. You're gonna go see it. Oh yeah, I'll see it. I'll see it, and I'll probably see it multiple times, like I did with uh, the Force Awakens. Uh, but it's awesome. We're gonna have a Star Wars movie this year as well. It'll be one a year for the yeah, next. Yeah, that's right. How many years? At least five or six years. So, yeah. that is exciting. So. Uh, yeah, let us know what you thought of uh, the Rogue One trailer. And not uh, a kids movie. There no, could I, be. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see BB-8 in there, so I, I'm not sure. <laughs> but you know, it looks looks amazing. And uh, let us know what you think. And be sure to subscribe to our channel. And we'll have much more of these for you. My sign-offs suck. <laughs> Thanks for coming out.